It is high noon on April 20, 2010, and the Tuesday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the street. And what a day it's been so far, Caleb. What a bunch of action in this newsroom. It's been quite busy, Mike. The top story is a robbery that took place at the subway in Kankakee. Yes, uh, what we know so far, apparently three suspects went there about 9 o'clock this morning. Last we heard, uh, two were at large, one had been apprehended for questioning. Uh, continue to check this website for details of throughout the day. Also, at the Bourbon A Terrace Assistant Living Home in Bourbon A, there was what's being called a compliance check that took place over there involving various state agencies. Again, we have a few details with more coming, so continue to check this website throughout the day. Quite a bit of serious stuff going on. Mike, a more light-hearted piece in today's paper, one about a woman who is enjoying going back to the circus after a long time. Yes, Betty Shockey. She grew up in Freeport, and her, uh, the highlight of each year when she was a young girl up there was when the circus came to town. So yesterday the circus came to town at the Kankakee County Fairgrounds and she went out there for the setup and got to pet the elephants and kind of hang out. Pretty neat. Cool, now sir. Caleb, yesterday on the yes. news at noon you revealed that you've never been to the zoo before. Yes, that one kind of startled me. How about the circus? I have been to oh, the okay. circus. I have crossed that off my life's to-do list. Uh, now apparently going to the zoo needs to be at the top. Yes, you need to knock that off your um, list too. So put it on your bucket list and get it off there within the next few months. I you? will see what I can do. In the meantime, let's check in with Sean Loftus. He is our weather guy and he has the forecast. Sean, take it away. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sean Loftus, your videographer and weather guy for the Daily Journal. And I'm here to give you your AccuWeather forecast. So it looks like this week we're going to be having weather as persistent as the nagging feeling in your stomach. And by nagging feeling in your stomach, I mean the mid to upper 60s throughout the rest of the week. Um, that's going to start with uh, today with a high of about 66 degrees with a low of 42. It's going to be nice with times of cloud and sun throughout most of the day. Um, clouds will increase a little bit coming in from the northwest and it will increase giving way to mostly cloudy skies later tonight. Tomorrow we're looking at another high of 66. Another lows around the 40s, but we might have a couple of spring showers in store, but we'll get into those details tomorrow. Until then, I am Sean Loftus, and we'll kick it back to the guys in the newsroom. Mike, we're back, and over the weekend, the Daily Journal hosted a promotion event held at Mario's Market over in Kankakee called the 92nd Grocery Grab. The two winners, you can find them in the paper today, big pictures of them grabbing food and throwing it in their cart. Mike, if you were part of this promotion, how would you attack it? How would you spend your 90 seconds in the grocery store? Funny you mention that, Caleb, because you know, as a, uh, an employee of the Daily Journal, I'm an el eligible to win this promotion, right, but I've thought about uh, if I did win it, what I would do, and I've uh, kind of cased out Mario's what I'd do, and I'd steer that grocery cart through the laundry detergent aisle first, okay. grab some of the expensive tie my wife likes and stick it on that bottom little rack okay, there and leave the sense. top part open, yeah. then I'd get to that meat aisle. In goes the beef, in goes the oh, chicken, yeah. in goes the pork. The carnivore is loading up, okay? And I'll get me enough meat to last me several months. So, yeah, I've actually thought this thing. You probably went over there and had to, like, restrain yourself from actually doing it. I can see Yeah, that. I don't want to be uh, in the uh, blotter section for shoplifting. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so I did restrain myself. Now, Mike, do you have one of those big deep freezers at home where you Indeed can keep? Indeed I do. Okay, well, sounds like you're all set. Um, it's too bad you can't do that. I'd like to see that. Yeah, it's kind of funny though, even if I'm paying, you know, meat and potatoes, what more do you need in the cart? That's all you need. That's all you need. You check out today's edition of the Daily Journal. Pick it up on newsstands or subscribe by calling us at 815-937-3322. Until tomorrow, you stay classy. Can we make a joke about the robbery? Can I say something like, <laughs> someone want to pay you $5 for the foot long? Is that off color? Is that not appropriate? It doesn't bother me, but... Yeah, but anyway. Sean, you like me. Always think. Trying to. You know what, Caleb, I'll put that in the outtakes. There, there we go. That's a fine. That